Okay, so first we'll focus on direct images. So as a theorem, let f be a function from x into y. Let a be a subset of a set b, which in turn is a subset of the domain x. And let the collection of sets g sub i for i in some indexing set i be an indexed family. of subsets of the domain x, then the direct image of the empty set is the empty set. The direct image of the set A is a subset of the direct image of the set B. the direct image of the union of subsets of the domain is equal to the union of the direct image of those sets, subsets, and the direct image of an intersection of subsets of the domain is a subset of the intersection of the direct images of those subsets. And this uh, inclusion can be strict. So proof. First statement. The proof is trivial. There are no points in the codomain Y that are mapped onto by points in the empty set. So second statement. Let y be a point in the direct image of the set A. Then there exists a point x in the set A such that y is equal to f of x. Now, as A is a subset of B, this point X is in the set B, that is, there exists a point X in the set B such that Y is equal to F of X, and so the point Y is in the direct image of the set B. And hence, the direct image of the set A is a subset of the direct image of the set B. So third statement, let Y be a point in the direct image of a union of subsets of the domain, then there exists a point X in this union such that Y is equal to F of X. So as the point X is in this union, X is in one of the sets G sub I for at least one index I. And hence, the point y, which is equal to f of x, is in the direct image of the set g sub i. Now, as the direct image of the set g sub i is a subset of the union, of the direct image of the sets G sub i, the point y, is in the 
union of the direct image of the sets G sub i. And thus the direct image of the union of subsets of the domain is a subset of the union of the direct images of those sets. So conversely, let y be in the union of the direct images of subsets of the domain. Then the point y is in the direct image of a set g sub i for at least one index i. And so there exists a point x in the set g sub i such that y is equal to f of x. Now as the point x is in this set g sub i, x is in the union of the sets g sub i, and hence the point y, which is equal to f of x, is in the direct image of the union of the sets g sub i. And thus the union of the direct images of the sets G sub i is a subset of the direct image of the union of these sets. So we have demonstrated set inclusion in both directions. Therefore, the sets are equal. The direct image of a union of subsets of the domain is equal to the union of the direct images of those sets. Okay, so fourth statement. Let y be in the direct image of an intersection of subsets of the domain. Then there exists a point x in this intersection such that y is equal to f of x. Now as x is in, the point x is in the intersection of the sets g sub i, the point x is in the set g sub i for every index i. And hence the point y, which is equal to f of x, is in the direct image of the set g sub i for every index i. And so the point y is in the intersection of the direct images of the sets g sub i. And therefore, the direct image of an intersection of subsets of the domain is a subset of the intersection of the, the direct images of those sets. So let's look at an example. Let f be a function from the reals back into the reals defined by f of x is equal to the square of x. Then the direct image of the half open ray from negative infinity to zero is the half open ray from zero to positive infinity and the direct image of the half open ray from zero to positive infinity is the half open ray from zero to positive infinity. And so the intersection 
of the direct image of the half open ray from negative infinity to zero with the direct image of the half open ray from zero to positive infinity is the half open ray from zero to positive infinity. However, the intersection of the half open ray from negative infinity to zero with the half open ray from zero to positive infinity is the singleton containing the point zero and the direct image of the singleton containing zero is the singleton containing zero. Therefore the direct image of the intersection of the half open ray from negative infinity to zero with the half open ray from zero to positive infinity is a proper subset of the intersection of the direct image of the half open ray from negative infinity to zero with the direct image of the half open ray from zero to positive infinity. So in general, a direct image preserves inclusions and unions, but as the uh, counterexample shows, not necessarily intersections. So let's now consider inverse images. So as a theorem, let f be a function from x into y. Let A be a subset of a set B, which in turn is a subset of the co-domain Y. And let the collection of sets G sub I for I in some indexing set I be an indexed family. of subsets of the codomain Y, then the inverse image of the empty set is the empty set. The inverse image of the set A is a subset of the inverse image of the set B. The inverse image of a union of subsets of the codomain is equal to the union of the inverse images of those sets. The inverse image of an intersection of subsets of the codomain is equal to the intersection of the inverse images of those sets. And the inverse image of the complement of the subset A in Y is the complement of the inverse image of the set A in X. So proof. The proof of the first statement is trivial. There are no points. in the domain X whose image lies in the empty set. So second statement. Let X be a point in the inverse image of the set A. Then F of X is an element in the set A. Now as A is a subset of the set B, the point F of X is in the set B. And so 
the point X is in the inverse image of the set B. And hence the inverse image of the set A is a subset of the inverse image of the set B. So third statement. Let X be a point in the inverse image of a union of subsets of the codomain. Then F of X is an element in this union. So as this is an element in the union, the point F of X is in the set G sub I for at least one index I and hence the point X is in the inverse image of this set so as the point is in the inverse image of the set G sub I for at least one index I the point X is in the union of the inverse images of these sets. And thus the inverse image of a union of subsets of the codomain is a subset of the union of the inverse images of those sets. Conversely, Let X be a point in the union of inverse images of subsets of the codomain. Then the point X is in the inverse image of a set G sub I for at least one index I. And so F of X is in the set G sub I for at least one index I. And as the point, or rather as the set G sub I is a subset of the union of the sets G sub I, the point F of X is in the union of the sets G sub I And hence the point X is in the inverse image of the union of the sets G sub I. And thus the union of inverse images of the sets G sub I is a subset of the inverse image of the union of those sets. So we have demonstrated set inclusion in both directions, and so the two sets are equal. The inverse image of a union of subsets of the codomain is equal to the union of the inverse images of those sets.